Welcome back to our series on the Indian knowledge system in physical sciences. Today, we explore the remarkable world of metallurgy and materials science in ancient India. In this video, we will uncover the advanced metallurgical techniques and the innovative use of materials by ancient Indians. Let's start with the Iron Pillar of Delhi, one of the most extraordinary examples of ancient Indian metallurgy. Erected during the reign of Chandragupta II, this pillar is composed of 98% wrought iron and stands over 7 meters tall. Despite being exposed to harsh weather conditions for centuries, it has shown minimal signs of rust. This is due to the high phosphorus content and the presence of a protective passive film on the surface, which prevents corrosion. The iron pillar stands as a testament to the advanced metallurgical skills of ancient Indian craftsmen. Next, we have wood steel, a high-quality crucible steel that was produced in ancient India. Known for its exceptional hardness and ability to hold a sharp edge, wood steel was highly prized across the world, particularly in the Middle East and Europe. The production process involved melting iron with carbon in a closed crucible, resulting in a homogeneous and durable material. Wood steel was used to create the legendary Damascus swords, renowned for their strength and flexibility. The knowledge and techniques of producing wood steel were passed down through generations, making it a significant contribution to global metallurgy. Another notable achievement in ancient Indian metallurgy was the production of zinc. India was one of the first civilizations to develop a method for extracting zinc from its ores. This process, known as distillation, involved heating zinc ore in a sealed crucible to a temperature at which the zinc vaporized, and then condensing the vapor to obtain pure zinc. The ancient mining site of Zawa, in Rajasthan, is a prime example of early zinc production, dating back to the 6th century BCE. This technique of zinc distillation was later adopted by other cultures, showcasing the innovative spirit of ancient Indian metallurgists. In addition to pure metals, ancient Indians were skilled in creating various metal alloys. Bronze, an alloy of copper and tin, was extensively used for making tools, weapons, and sculptures. Another notable alloy was brass, a combination of copper and zinc, which was used for decorative items and coinage. The field of ancient Indian alchemy, known as Rasa Shastra, also played a crucial role in the development of metallurgy. Alchemists experimented with different metals and chemicals to create medicinal compounds and elixirs. Their work laid the foundation for the later development of chemistry and materials science. The technological innovations in ancient Indian metallurgy extended beyond just materials. Ancient Indians developed advanced furnaces and kilns capable of achieving high temperatures necessary for metal extraction and refining. They also invented various tools and techniques for metal casting, forging, and finishing. These innovations enabled the production of intricate and high-quality metal artifacts that were both functional and aesthetically pleasing. The expertise in metallurgy was not limited to a single region but was spread across different parts of India, with each region contributing its unique techniques and knowledge. The advanced metallurgical techniques and materials science knowledge of ancient India had a profound impact on the world. Indian metals and alloys were traded extensively, influencing metallurgical practices in other civilizations. The legacy of ancient Indian metallurgy is evident in the high-quality artifacts and architectural marvels that have stood the test of time. Today, Researchers and scientists continue to study these ancient techniques to gain insights into sustainable and efficient metallurgical practices. The ingenuity and craftsmanship of ancient Indian metallurgists remain a source of inspiration and pride. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the Indian knowledge system in physical sciences.